right, so here he is, the legend, future Hall of Famer, Mirko Krokop. No man in the history of the UFC pride, the WEC and Strike Force has more finishes than that man. This man wrote the book on the head kick knockout. It has been one seminal moment and finish after the next. The question beckons, though. How much does Mirko Krokop have as he returns to the spotlight here tonight? Time will tell. We'll get our answers here in short order. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the Octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. Good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has toughness that you cannot teach. He has an incredible ability to absorb punishment and the mental toughness to come back from devastating situations. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, seven losses, and two draws. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Hoka. And now, who is his opponent? Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Lovegood. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix Single Night Tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night tournament. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Both fighters slow to attack, trying to get their timing down. Nice defense there, huge block. Goes for a single. Well, missed on that one. Tags him. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. That strike blocked by Krokop. Caught him with a punch. Oh, both men exchange. There's the kick, it's blocked. And there's a nice jab. First takedown attempt is there. Looks like he's trying to set up some sort of choke here, Joe. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This arm triangle looks very tight. He may have to tap. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. Use great.
great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here it is again. Beautiful arm triangle submission. Absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds at the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and training partners. What a moment for this oncoming fighter here tonight.